Um, okay, hello, welcome, Mr. Um, let me see, I can see your name. Mr. Rosales, welcome. Uh, Miss Perdomo, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Um, Thank you, good you? night. Good evening, good evening, sir. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, uh, sorry. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Miss Villalta. Yes, it's called Miss Villalta. <laughs> okay. Hi. I'm sorry. Hi. Hi, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're fine? Okay, very yes, good. Yes, it's Carl. Oh. It's, a, it's a one day that I, I am leaving. Oh, for okay. the pandemic, I say. It's another day. It's, it, uh, in this situation, uh, you get a day is a is a goal because many people are suffering this illness and they are in a hospital and also in my, I am in my house with my family. And this is the reason that I will be happy. Okay, okay, very good. Um, let me see. I have here two Mr. Pastran. Welcome. Um, Miss Aguilar, welcome to. Thank you, teacher. Hello, sir. Hello, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Miss. Uh, how are you, Miss? I'm really good. Thank you. Okay, very good. That's nice. Uh, what do you do today? Do you work? No. I don't uh, work. Oh, you're studying. Hey, I, I got it. I remember that. You're studying. Okay. Uh, do you have online classes? No, teacher. Just I only study English. Just English. Okay, very good. Yes. Well, let me see who else is here. Um, I think there are just five people here. Okay, we're going to wait just one minute more. No, no, we, we can wait. We can't. So we're going to start right now because it is, it is night uh, with seven minutes. Okay, and that's mean that we have to start. We can't wait. Okay, um, this class is going to be participative and, and you all of you are going to be um, uh, working together. You'll be working in different groups, uh, but we're going to wait um, the rest of, of, the, of your classmates to, to create the, the uh, breakout rooms. But we're going to start with this. Um, well, the last class we we're discussing a, a topic that it, it is you can find in, in, a, in a platform. And based on that topic, we're going to be working uh, in some exercises that I have prepared for you. Um, before going on it, I will show you um, this slide where we have the objective. Okay, this objective, it, it is the same that we have uh, for yesterday class. It says, in this class, you will listen to a conversation about job and job requirement, where gerunds and short responses will be used. There we have the, the topic that we discussed in the previous class, that is gerund and infinitive. So we're going to um, make a, a review. We're going to do a review about that topic, but um, this is going to be with game. And then we're going to be working uh, in the breakout rooms. Let's see, um, I have a quote for you in where you are going to give me your own opinion. Uh, and also you, if you agree or disagree with this quote, um, everybody here is going to participate. So, uh, please prepare your answer because I will ask to everybody to give an opinion about this board. Okay, you are nine participants. Um, 
And we're going to start with, give me a second. Uh, with, uh, let me see, the list that I have here, Mr. Mr. Jimenez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Good evening, teacher. Okay, tell me, what do you think about this quote? Do you agree? Uh, in my opinion, uh, the experience is more and um, more, <laughs> more, uh, more experience and perfection of the abilities. Okay. Uh, um, and the practice having the master or help the master okay okay thank you sir thank you for your answer very good excellent good participation uh let me see in this what we uh, everybody's going to to say something okay so uh, be ready. Let me see. The second one is going to be Mr. Castro. Okay. What do you think about this quote? What's your opinion? Do you agree? Do you uh, do you disagree about this? What do you think? Hello. Good night. Can you Hello. Hear me? Good evening, sir. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I just right now uh, connect. Uh, ah, to okay, the session. okay. Okay, okay, don't worry. I will explain uh, you uh, uh, what are we doing right now. Uh, here I have a quote, okay? Um, you must read this quote and tell me if you agree or disagree or what is your opinion about this. The, the quote, it says, the harder you work, the better you get. The harder you work, the better you get. What do you think? It, it is true? Yeah, it's, it's true, it's totally true. Okay. When uh, you work or, or you, you work hard with, with I don't know, with uh, whatever, you you need or or you try uh, the re recompense and mm -hmm. the the la recompensa is uh, um, is better, better okay thank you sir very good uh, good opinion uh, let me see here mr Kanjura. Yes. Good evening, sir. Uh, How are you? Good evening. Uh, very well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, sir. Uh, tell me, what do you think about this quote? Uh, it says, the harder you work, the better you get. What do you think about it? Uh, I think it's true, but uh, somebody can think that uh, to work very hard, it means that uh, you need to to work very hard with your body, and it's not that uh, uh, exactly you can uh, work very hard with your brain, with your mind, and the the result will be you get the better, the better, and. I am agree with that uh, phrase. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Very good. Uh, let me see, Mr. Rosales. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Um, in my case, I am agree and disagree. Okay. The, yeah. the first one, the first, the first one, because yes, of course, if we if, if we work uh, work hard harder, we 
we get the 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 reward. The reward. I guess reward is the recompense. Recompense. Okay. I don't know. The guard. Reward. Reward. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this in this situation, yes, uh, yes, because if we work harder, we get the reward. But this is the um, this is only when compare the physical work with the with the money reward the reward. But what what happened when when uh, in the new generation of works? Because if we compare the the new world, we know that the, I'm going to talk about the 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 YouTuber, the TikToker, and all these people because they they doesn't work harder, but they they, they get money, and then in this case I am disagree, but no I I, I own not no quiere decir de que todo está mal. But um, for this reason, I know I agree by the totally. Okay, you're not totally agree with that. Okay, very good. That's a good opinion about it. Um, we're going to be discussing that later. But let's see what Mr. Pastran uh, have to say about this quote. Um, yeah, I agree. I think it's a pretty quote because if you do your best, uh, you must definitely uh, get a better result. So, yeah, I agree. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, let me see who else, Miss uh, Jordan. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, Miss. How are you? Um, fine. And you? I'm fine too, Miss. Okay, tell me, what do you think about this quote? Uh, I think I agree and disagree. Uh, because as my uh, my computer is here, uh, sometimes you work hard and try to do your your best to uh, get what you want and you finally get it and you feel good. But sometimes you see that other people don't work hard and they get what, what they want. And it sometimes it can feel, you can feel like, Life isn't fair because when you get what you want, it's okay. But when you don't get what you want, uh, you don't feel so good. <laughs> and that's it. I think it's true. If you work hard, you can get what you want. But sometimes it isn't like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss. Um, let's see, Miss Torrento. Yes, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good night, teacher. Okay, tell me, uh, what do you think about this quote? Um... This word, oh, okay. I'm thinking about uh, for this word is um, is a minute for thinking. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't work, you don't eat, I do get your regular if huh? you work. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, well, some of you are the um, campaign and other um, people work 
Um, and it is okay because um, if we see in, in the social thing, uh, maybe we can think that what other people do could be easy or could be harder and the reward that the people that makes the things easy uh, get more than the people that uh, work hard or work harder. And, and that's true. That's true. It's, it's a good opinion. Okay. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can do it. That doesn't mean that we can uh, have the opportunity to do it. Because if those people, as you said, if those people can do it, why you not? Okay. Why not? So the thing is, if we want to do it, if we want, if we are committed to complete uh, something or any goal that we can set in our life, okay? So uh, when the quote says, the harder you work, the better you get, okay? It is good, it is true, by the way, but also there is something missing, okay? Um, so how available are you uh, or how committed are you uh, in, in the things that you are doing? Because this, this, this does not mean just for work. This does not apply just for working, okay? This applies for studying, uh, for, uh, well, anything that you want to, to, to get, not just for working, okay? So uh, think about it. In the university, many of you are studying in a university and um, you need to work hard if you want to get your degree, okay? Uh, people who work, okay? If you want to, 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 to get um, like another position in the company, so that's mean that you have to work hard. Uh, but do the things that uh, can highlight your, your, um, your abilities in, in, in that uh, job, okay? That you can be noticed or, or that your boss can, can notice what you do. Because uh, you can think sometimes it, it's a little bit difficult, but um, you can think that you are working hard, okay? and you are not getting what you really uh, have to get from that work. Uh, but don't confuse this because uh, work hard no means uh, to be doing all that the boss uh, is asking for us. No, that's not, not, not the meaning of this. Uh, work hard means do the things that you know to do or that you uh, can do in your work but do it uh, in a good way, okay? Uh, you, you must commit with, with, with that and, and you're going to, be, to get a good reward. And, and maybe not could be um, about money, okay? We want, we, all, of, all of us want money for, for something because um, as we know, money can, can uh, give us a lot of things and, and it's good because uh, in, in our work, but but also there are other things that you can get, okay? Not just not just money. Um, uh, for instance, it could be that you can get uh, things like uh, time with your family, time with your friends, okay? Uh, bonus in in in, in um, your company, things like that, okay? So, but let's see uh, what Miss Castaneda think about it. What do you think about this quote? It says, the harder you work, the better you get. I want to listen all of you, okay? Miss Castaneda. Are you there, Miss? No. Okay, uh, Miss Rivera. Miss Rivera, are you there? Rivera. 
Okay, no. Uh, Miss Aguilar, do you already participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Escobar. I am here. Hello, what have you been up to, sir? Uh, what I am, the, the video is so glitched, I think, and I don't understand so much. Okay, uh, how are you, sir? Ah, we were fine, yes. Okay. Uh, um, the... A little bit stressed, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, sir, we're uh, giving our opinion about this quote. The quote says, the harder you work, the better you get. What do you think about this quote? I think this, this uh, talk about the life in general. Why? Uh, because I think the work is so important for us and maybe it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, how do you say reto? Okay. Challenge. Challenge. Well, okay. You, the life just is a challenge, and you can, and you will try your. Uh, you will try your more. Esfuerzo. Ex ex how do you say esfuerzo? <laughs> Support. Try so hard. I can hear you, sir. What what are you asking? Uh, esfuerzo. I, I said oh, try. Effort. So okay, effort. Strength. <clears throat> and that's the meaning of this word, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Very good. Miss Aguilar, you're raising your hand. Tell me. Yes, I, I think that when something is easy for us, we don't appreciate it. So when something is the most difficult uh, uh, situation of the world, and we we give all of us we can appreciate it and it's better for us. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss. Um, I, I have to add something. We're going to see the topic right now and I, I, we're going to move to, to, to that, but I have to add something that you uh, said based on what you said. Okay, if we are going to work harder in, in something specific, um, I think, based on, on, on what you are sharing, that you must you, you must be committed or or uh, well, you must like, okay, you must like the things that you are doing, it, it, because if you don't like something, even though if you work harder or you think that you are working harder, uh, it's going to be a mess, okay. Because if you don't like something, that's mean that you, you, you won't do the best that uh, you can uh, get for something. Okay, that's something that, that, that we have to operate. Uh, well, as I told you before, we're going to be working uh, tonight in the same topic that we left um, the, the previous class. As you know, we're talking in topic, we're discussing about the topic, I need a job. And we were discussing also uh, what are gerund phrase, what is a gerund, what is an infinitive. Uh, so we already know that information and we are going just to review because you are going to uh, complete an activity. You are going to do an activity. It's going to be in, in team, maybe three people, uh, uh, it's going to be in that uh, room, in each room that I will create for this uh, class. Uh, let's see. Do you remember what is a gerund? How we construct a gerund? Do you remember that? Yes. 
Okay. Can you refresh that information for everybody? How we construct a German? How we do it? No. The base are on the verb ing. Okay. To construct or to create a germ, we are going to use the base form of a verb plus the ing. Okay. But what becomes a, that word in germ? Do you know that? What become, uh, becomes that word in a germ? In a sentence. As a name. Okay, when we use it as a name. Okay, if we use a verb um, that uh, adding ing, okay, the base form of a verb adding ing, and we use it as a noun, that is called gerund. Okay, that is called gerund. And let's see, do you remember how we construct infinitives? So, okay, very good. To create or to construct a, an infinitive, we are going to use the preposition to plus the verb, the base form of the verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can you give me an example of gerund? Sleeping. I like drum. Okay. Playing. 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 Excellent. Learning. Learning. Earning. Okay. Earning. Hanging. Hanging. Travel. Travel. Hiking. Travel. Travel. Is it a uh, journey? Traveling. Ah, uh, traveling. Yes. Hiking. Traveling. Hiking. Very good. Cooking. What else? Cooking. cooking, okay, cooking, very good. So you give me old, uh, uh, well, some some germs, and uh, let's see if you remember the infinitives. Can you give me examples of infinitives? To work. To work, excellent. What else? To have, to hope. To read. To read, okay. To keep. To keep, okay. Like. Right. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, you already know what are infinitives and what are gerunds. What are we do? What are we doing uh, with this activity then? So, you're going to be in trios, okay? And, um, you are going to um, create a, two sentences, okay? Two sentences a, for each um, for each a, a topic that we are discussing. That's mean a, two sentences using gerund and two sentences using infinitives. A, you are going to do it together. Please do not copy and paste information from the in internet. Okay? And uh, to avoid that, we are going to do something. Uh, the, the main topic, the main topic for creating the, those, those exercises, uh, I mean, those sentences, uh, will be, um, let me see. We're going to use the topic of traveling. The two sentences that you that you are going to create must be related to traveling. Okay, must be related to traveling. Uh, you decide which verb are you going to which verb are you going to use, uh, which uh, uh, will be the, the 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 things that you are going to be taking uh, for writing that. Uh, that's in those sentences, uh, but must be related for traveling, 
Uh, that's not mean you should travel in all the sentence. No, it must be related for, uh, with the word traveling or the topic traveling, okay? Uh, for instance, if you want to say something about an airplane, okay, that's, that's linked to travel. If you want to say something about transportation, okay, that's linked to traveling. Uh, if you want to say something about a country that you visit or you're going to visit, uh, but that's related to travel. I don't know if, it's, if it is clear the instruction or you want me to explain in Spanish. What? Is it clear? Is it clear what yes. are you going to do? Tell me yes, tell me no. Yes, it's clear. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, does anyone here who want me to explain the, uh, or to say the, ins the instruction in Spanish? Yes, yes or please. Yes, okay, please. Okay, miss. Okay, yes, okay, well, I will do it quickly. Um, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es crear dos oraciones para cada tema. Uno para este, los gerundios y el otro para los infinitivos. Dos oraciones sí. por cada uno. Van a estar tres en cada grupo. Este, eh, la idea aquí es no copiar información de internet. ¿okay? Nosotros vamos a crear esas oraciones. Eh, pero para evitar eso, he creado una forma que es relacionar nuestras oraciones al tema de viajes. ¿okay? No necesariamente tiene que, tiene que utilizar la palabra traveling. No, no es eso lo que les estoy solicitando. Sino que la oración sea algo relacionado a viajes. Por ejemplo, este puede ser algo relacionado a un, eh, a un avión, puede ser algo relacionado este, a, a, a visitar un, un país, este, puede ser relacionado a ¿qué? un transporte, eh, alguna actividad que ustedes eh, hicieron o, o les gustaría hacer en, en determinada ciudad, país, etc., es algo que se relacione al tema principal que sea traveling, que es de viajes. ¿okay? No sé si queda clara la, la indicación. Ahora. Sí, teach. Dos oraciones sí, cada uno. Ok, so I will, I will open the, the breakout room mm -hmm. right now. And you are going to have a seven minutes. Do you think it's enough time? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> ok, let's see what happens. If you need more time, just let me know. Um, I will open the breakout room right now. And please click on going to the breakout rooms. So go ahead, guys. Jorge, please join the break up, the break up room. Jorge, are you there?
bueno, ok, I'm sorry. Ok, bueno. Um, nowadays, uh, nowadays learning English is important because um, you can join with an easy job. For example, especially if you work as tourist guide, tourist guide, uh, you can get uh, a good opportunity because uh, you know different place. And besides that, I consider that um, um, a, uh, working as student guide, it sounds good. And because you can travel by ship or by plane, I don't know exactly, uh, to have this opportunity for people like to work as tourist guides, they can travel. They can travel in different places. Uh, so working hard in, in this program in English, maybe later we can get a different job. That's that. Okay, start. Okay. So I am. I am confused. Um, according to the instruction, we have to to write four sentences. In yes. this case, your sentence will be uh, my sentence, and uh, important. This is a one sentence. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Another sentence that I use in your speech. Uh, and you... uh, Hola, en Mariano. Caso, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo sería? No, como solo sería Luis hike, like hiking. In the month, Chris. Chris right? likes, likes hiking? Like, likes hiking. Teacher, sure is correct? And yes, it is. When you say I like hiking, okay, I like hiking. Hiking is an activity, for, and also it can be used as a verb. For like, second person? No, second person is you. For mm -hmm. third person? Third person. No, if we use third person, we must use uh, the verb using uh, uh, the yes likes. Activity. Likes. But in this case, uh, we're using a uh, first person, that is I. Okay. I, like I, like, I like hiking. I like hiking. Okay. It's like this. I don't know. I like, I like hiking, hiking in Monte like Cristo National Park. Yes, it is. It is it correct. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I will move so, to another room. Okay. Hello, and good evening, everybody. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, are you working on it? What? Are you working uh, in the exercises? Yes. yes. Oh. I have uh, the two sentences, Gideon. Okay, Gideon. very good. Okay, so I will move to a different group. Okay. Okay. Do, do you need do, do you need to ask something? Do you have a question for me? No, it's no. clear. Okay. It's the, yeah, don't worry. Okay. Solo so. que no se me ocurre cómo ponerlas. <laughs> ah, me. La infinity. Ajá. Teacher, are you there? See, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for example, listen to this sentence and tell me if it's right or wrong. Okay. The sentence yeah. says, "He hopes to visit Italy one day." He hopes. So the, 
to visit Italy one day. Okay, that one is using infinitive, right? Yeah, infinitive. Okay, that's correct. Is it correct? And one using gerum could it be? Um, traveling a lot can be expensive. Traveling a lot can be expensive. Okay, is it good? Uh, that is a gerum, right? Yes, traveling is a gerum. Yeah. Okay, very good. So I will move to a different group. Uh, see you in a moment, guys. Okay, uh, like I just say the area the teacher with this much um, the practices the exercise and the sentence and the performance for my part we we may uh, I will travel in to Colombia. And with the infinitive is uh, infinitive. I like to travel in Colombia. So we'll hold the question for this state and for travel traveling. I like travel for the other country. I like is travel in, um, I say in Costa Rica, it's not like the city. I like traveling and in other uh, city is Panama. I would like traveling maybe to uh, um, for my vacation, I want to buy new clothes for the infinity. Ese sería el ejemplo de Gerundio, ¿verdad? La tercera. Uh, the first and the second is for Jerome. And the last one is for infinity. Solo nos faltaría una para infinitivos. Do you have any idea? Podría ser como viajando, pero siempre con las medidas de seguridad de protocolo. <laughs> no sé. Uh, yeah, yeah. Como para guardar siempre la salud o algo así. Yeah, the protocol. Mm. Ah, there is a minute. Ah, hold on.
Sí, vea, porque ahí ya no estamos hablando de traveling, no que de ver el cielo, las estrellas. Ya no fuimos, ajá, pero la idea esa es, o sea, si va a usar un, un, un infinitivo, o, eh, da la misma idea si usa un, un gerundio, un con it, e, y, g. Por ejemplo, así como habíamos pensado, now they learn in English is very important because, because we can have a good opportunity to have a better job, especially uh, traveling by, plan, by plane, como a tour sky, no sé, algo así. Pero ustedes suelte la idea. Ahí nos vamos. Porque este traveling, viajar. O decir, visiting Costa Rica for me is a good country because I love to get more, uh, more to get more, more knowledge is about the places. Hola. Okay, hello guys. Uh, I've been checking uh, you working. Uh, I've been visiting you in each of the of the rooms that, that were created for you. Uh, and I saw that you were creating good examples of, of using um, infinitives and using gerunds. And let's see, uh, you're going to share right now uh, the information that you have. Uh, you want, you, you can, what you can do is just sharing uh, just one or two sentences, okay? You create four, but you are going to share just one or two, you decide. Uh, let's see if there is here any volunteer who wants to say it, your sentences first. Any volunteer? Okay, uh, Miss Aguilar, you're raising your hand. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I love eating pupusas with chocolate when I go to La Quinta. Okay. And Great. with infinity, don't forget to travel with safety measures. Excellent. Okay, those are very good examples. Uh, let me see who else. Who else wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, sir. Go um, ahead. The uh, wait a minute. Um, the J room could it be? Um, Traveling a lot can be traveling a lot can be expensive, and the infinitive um, he hopes to visit Italy one day. Okay, he hopes to visit. Very good. Yeah, too. It, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Someone else. Uh, Okay, someone else? Me teacher. Okay, me. Uh, my student, me. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, the students in me, my partners. <laughs> my partners is playing out, but uh, for example, we can say nowadays, nowadays learning English is important because uh, we can have a good opportunity. And to get a job, uh, to get a job, especially traveling by plane or ship. Right, uh, okay, you are using traveling, it's okay. 
Yes, the sentence is okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Who else? There is anyone here missing? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Mr. <clears throat> Jimenez. Okay, go ahead, sir. The Germans uh, are like Hickens in the Pitao. Okay. In, in the infinitives, I like the rappelling in the door of the the door of the devil. Uh, you say infinitive, okay? Infinitive. I, Can you repeat it again? I like the rappelling. Oh, okay. I got it. Got it. Got in it. the door of the devil. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Got it. Okay. Uh, very good. So uh, I think that uh, all of you already complete the exercise. The ones who didn't participate can share the uh, examples in the WhatsApp group. I will be checking uh, your participation uh, there. Um, right now, I think that's all for tonight, but I want to ask you if you have any question that you want uh, to, to do, uh, for me, uh, about the platform, about the activities, I don't know, something that you want to ask, any doubt that you have? Yeah, uh, teacher, I have two examples. Okay, sir. Can I, uh, using infinitive, I like to travel to Europe. To Europe. Okay, and, and you And using the, the German is Traveling is the best way to enjoy the life. Excellent, very good, sir. Those examples are a well, good structure in, in well, we're using germs and we're using um, infinity. Very good, excellent, sir. Okay. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, miss. Uh, when I go to Spain, learning about your culture, Infinitive, uh, I like to visit two countries, Madrid and Venecia. In Venecia, okay, very good. Um, well, that's good. Uh, well, guys, I think that's uh, all for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. We are just missing two sessions, okay? We're just missing two. Um, if you have any question, please write it down in, in, in the chat in the WhatsApp group. Uh, the ones that we have uh, there, and uh, that's all, okay? Blessings for all of you, and thank you for being here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.